schools, colleges, universities, hospitality uh, uh, clinics. Education and awareness uh, by East because as I mentioned being a part of the Techno India group we have a strong focus on providing these opportunities to students here in Kent where anybody can go through to understand what they can do to bring in sustainability in their lives uh, and these are all the periodic uh, ideas that they haven't thought about. So you listen to uh, the students who are sitting there they had secured the first position in that conference. I will invite you right up. There is something in India which I also need to do. So in that way, I had this collaboration with Asari and many of my friends in Japan for last month so that more people can be converted the thought process what between India and Japan. Because you know there are a lot of things, a lot of things which are new to both of us, which is practiced in both the countries. Like uh, if we talk about, the, I was just listening to YES. I know YES to some extent, they are really doing a great job with the leadership of uh, our uh, of Colin. Yeah. So they are doing excellent job. I have seen some of the things. But what my interest is, it is not only the research in the universities and higher education, but I wanted this time to involve the school children. We are, we are uh, going to the schools and tomorrow on the very second, we have nearly uh, 40 schools from West Bengal and 7 schools from Japan, they are collaborating together tomorrow and maybe I have some plans for the school students on the Japan. Referred to as ISWMAW for the and instill the sense of responsibility to all the And one unique thing for this university is we have in our curriculum one threaded course that is called Entrepreneurship Skill Development, ESD, where the students are working on 17 SDGs and our faculty members are mentoring them to come into the solution. We are organizing various <coughs> idea idea thon that is they are presenting their idea, there are various hackathons to get their idea converted into their real life. So that's a unique thing and based on that it is an honor for Techno India University that it has signed the North Zero Net Zero pledge to become carbon neutral educational institute to combat climate change and sustain our environment for future generations. We star Executive Director and Chief Innovation Officer Mr. Meghul Chaujodhi to share a few words. Hi everyone, welcome to Techno India University and welcome to India as well. I'm guessing a lot of you have not probably been to India before, so welcome to a land of dichotomy at first and foremost. Um, as, um, I, as I see around the room, a lot of you are, are very young and probably in college, in school and figuring out your lives in the realm of sustainability. And I think uh, in, in this institution, as uh, as I to was saying as well, uh, we have a huge impetus that is given to the world of sustainability. We are perhaps one of the only institutions where we have a department dedicated to, to sustainability and an and an sustainability director as well. Unfortunately, she couldn't. Uh, we have heard so much about sustainability, and I think uh, if you take your curriculum. 
It may be about engineering, it may be about management, but everything includes the subject of sustainability. But it's not only in papers and pen. It should be an outcome-based thing. We have to prove that we are following the rules. We have to prove that we are maintaining what is called sustainability. I would rather speak about the country of Japan. It is a wonderful country and I was just going through our logo and the flag. And I feel we have something in common. That red circle is so very common. It makes us feel that somewhere we have a thought which is common for both of us. It is wonderful to see young generations working with such pertinent topics. Yeah. 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 Yeah.